So once you set your piece to the side to dry, if you would like to add anything to your piece, you want to make sure it's at a consistency dryness wise that you would be able to touch it without it moving or changing the shape of your piece. But you also don't want it to be so dry that you can't attach anything. So it's a fine line finding that perfect space before you can attach another piece of clay. You will also need to have some slip, which is just watered down clay. You may have some in the bottom of your bowl. It's just kind of a goopy slip that helps attach one piece of clay to another piece of clay. It looks similar to this, so a little bit waterier. If you don't have any in your bowl, you can make your own slip by taking a piece of clay and just squishing it flat and setting it into some water and letting it sit for a couple of hours. When you attach one piece of clay to another piece of clay, as I mentioned, you'll want to use slip, but you can use this part of this tool as a scoring tool. You would just scratch into the surface of your piece wherever you're wanting to attach the other piece of clay to create a little bit of some scarring, then a little bit of slip. Score the piece of clay you're attaching. And then you can press it in gently. You can create handles or add clay to the surface with using that same process. If you have cracks in your piece that you need to smooth out, you can use a little bit of water and smooth the cracks together to try to adhere the clay to itself again. If your piece isn't working and the cracks aren't meeting together, it's possible you have too much water in that and you want to let it sit for a few hours before coming back and trying to fix the cracks in your piece. Once you have it the way you like it, you want to let your air dry clay sit for 24 hours before you're able to start painting it and finishing the design process.